This has been an amazing year for AI. At, at Meta alone, we have launched AI models that can generate 3D video from text prompts, um, that can create sound from images, um, that can bring objects into VR just by looking at them, uh, that can let you speak a different language in your own voice, um, and of course, uh, a leading open source foundation model, Llama 2, all in the last 12 months. But you know, this is, this is really just the beginning. Because if, if you look across the industry and if you look at what everyone is doing, um, you know, most people haven't yet had the chance to experience these LLMs or any of these AI advances yet. And you know, that's a thing that I think that we can help change. So today, I want to talk about some of the work that we've been doing to, to bring the state-of-the-art AI into the apps that billions of people use. So uh, we set a standard for open source language models with Llama 2. But before today, you know, we haven't talked that much about our image generation models. And you know, our team has been you know, quietly working on these and cranking on them, and they've gotten really good. Um, so you know, we call it EMU for Expressive Media Universe, continuing with our animal theme. Um, and just take a look at these images. Because today we're starting to roll out a bunch of products with, with this in it. And it's, uh, you know, it's, they're high quality, photorealistic. But you know, one of the coolest things is that Emu generates them fast. Right? So it's not a minute. These are, it's about five seconds to generate one of these. Which, which just makes it really fun to play with, because you can just iterate. And, you know, my kids tell me it's still not fast enough, but we're, we're you know, it's, but five seconds kind of gets to the point where you're, you're really cooking. All right, so we built this into chats, and we'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's talk about stickers. Because every day, people send hundreds of millions of stickers to express things um, in chats. And, you know, every chat is a little bit different, and you want to express, you know, subtly different emotions. But, you know, today we only have, you know, a fixed number, but, you know, with Emu, uh, now you have the ability to just type in what you want. It will generate a set of custom, never before seen stickers on the fly. Um, and you can send them to your friends. Um, we've actually we've been testing this for a little bit. And, um, and, and people do seem to really like this. And today we're rolling it out very broadly across our, our different apps. Um, in addition to stickers, we're also bringing AI editing tools to Instagram um, next month. So, you know, it, it, the team dug up this photo of me, you know, that turned me into a cowboy, ugly sweater party. I don't really get that one. <laughs> that one's good. That, in an alternate world, you know, I, that could have been me. Um, or, or here's my crazy dog, Beast. Um, you can, let's turn him into origami. Poor beast. <laughs> Straighten his hair. Uh, cross stitch. All right. There you go. Um, I think this is going to be really fun. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to getting this into all of our apps. Coming to Instagram um, in about a month. Pretty excited about this. All right. So let's move on from images for a second. You know, at, at Meta, one of the views that we have on the development of AI that is a little bit different from the rest of the industry is, you know, we don't think that there's going to be like one singular super intelligence that everyone interacts with. But our view is that you know, people are going to want to interact with a bunch of different AIs for the different things that you want to do. And I actually think that over time, a lot of you are going to want to make your own AIs to advance individual goals that you have, whether you're a small business, and you want to interact with customers, or if you're a creator and you want to engage your community, or whatever it is that you do. So we are building a platform for creating AIs that can help you get things done or just have fun. Um, and you know, the way this is going to work is there, people are going to be able to interact with these AIs across the whole meta universe of products. So, you know, of course, you'll be able to chat with them in WhatsApp and Messenger and Instagram Direct. But beyond that, they're going to have profiles in Instagram and Facebook, and you'll be able to interact with them. 
and eventually they're going to be embodied as avatars and live and be able to interact with them in the metaverse too. And we're going to open this platform up for developers and more use cases soon. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what all of you build. But even before that, um, we have been creating a bunch of AIs ourselves, and we're going to start rolling these out in beta um, today and, and ramping that a bit over the next couple of days. Um, so let's meet some of them. All right, first up, we got Meta AI. Meta AI is it's your, your basic assistant, right? That you can that you can talk to like a person, right? You can you can message Meta AI and any of the messaging apps, WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, Direct. Um, soon you're going to be able to message it in Quest 3, and it's going to help you, you know, answer you know, your basic questions or requests. It, um, it is based on, um, it's, it's, it's built with a model that's based on Llama 2, but in addition, um, it also has access to real-time information and broader knowledge through a partnership that we've done with Microsoft and Bing Search. So here you can see it, you ask a question, it has access to real-time information. It can point you towards that. It can point you towards search results. Our new image generation model, Emu, is also built directly into Meta AI. So you can just message it and tag anything with Imagine, and it will generate high-quality, photorealistic images right there in the chat in seconds for free. So pretty excited about that. And um, another neat feature of this is that you can invoke Meta AI in any chat. So it doesn't just have to be Meta AI's, you know, your thread with them. You can, you can do it in group chats, right? You just start your message with Meta AI, and it's going to respond. And um, we've been testing this internally, and it is really fun to just generate fun messages, uh, uh, photos, or, you know, settle debates really quickly, or just, just you, know, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. But it's, um, it's, it's, it's super convenient. All right, so I think Meta AI, it's our, it's our basic assistant. It's going to be, I think it's going to be really useful. Um, we're going to focus over the coming months and years on building this out into a deeper and deeper um, personal assistant with more integrations across everything we do. Um, and I think this is going to be a big deal. But in addition to this, we have also been experimenting with creating some AIs that are um, a bit more fun, or that have some more personality, um, opinions, interests, um, just a, a little more interactive and fun to, to play with. So um, let's check this out. So let's say you're, you're planning dinner. Um, you got Max the sous chef um, who can help you come up with a recipe and uh, help you come up with ideas. You know, so if you want to find a way to sneak some broccoli into your kid's dinner, Max has got you. you know, let's say you add too much salt to the recipe, he can help you balance it out. All right. Or let's say you know, you're writing something like a, a keynote and you're not really sure where to get started. You can ask Lily um, or personal editor AI who can help you brainstorm and share tips or you can give her a bunch of the text that you've, that you've written and she can help you edit it and make it better. Or maybe you're traveling and you're trying to plan a road trip with your kids. Um, you've got Lorena who's going to be able to help you find the best barbecue uh, on the road trip or find a good national park or a beautiful spot to to take the kids. So um, there you go. That's a few of them. These are just a few of the AIs that we've, that we've trained so far. Um, there are a lot more that are coming. And they're going to spend all kinds of different interests, from you know, gaming to fashion to philosophy to just all kinds of fun stuff. But the important thing here is that this isn't just going to be about answering queries. Right? This is about entertainment. and um, and about helping you do things to connect with the people around you and helping you accomplish the things that you want across whatever your different goals are. And because we thought that you know, this should feel fun and it should feel familiar, so we did something a little bit different for us. And um, we partnered with a bunch of pretty awesome people to basically embody these and, and play them. So uh, let's say you want to get in shape. Well, this is Victor, played by Dwayne Wade. <laughs> And, um, and he's going to pull together a workout plan for you and get you motivated. And you know, the good thing about Victor is he is there any time that you want to get a workout in. So you don't have to schedule a session or something like that. Um, and he is always going to be encouraging you to hit your goals. 
All right, let's say you're trying to pull together Halloween costumes for your family. Well, you got Dylan, played by Lore DIY, um, who's got you covered on craft. So, you know, my, my daughter really wanted me to be Dumbledore and kind of struggling with the beard thing. So you got Dylan, and she helped me work this out. But then I got this other problem, which is my other daughter doesn't want to go with the Harry Potter theme. She just wants to be an apple. So I'm like, all right, how do, I, how do I fit this into the theme? And I think that's actually a pretty good idea. So, all right, so anyhow, so that's Dylan. Okay, or let's say uh, you want to do something a little bit wilder. Let's say you want to play a role-playing game. Well, now you can just drop the, the dungeon master into one of your chats, and uh, let's check this guy out. Let's get medieval, player. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't wanted to play a text, you know, adventure game with Snoop Dogg? Oh, man. <laughs> so, it's good. The expressions are good. We've got voice coming over a couple of months, probably, probably early next year or something like that. Um, but this is, this is pretty fun to play with. Um, you know, at, at this point in the keynote, I, I, I was kind of thinking, you know, we could do an audible. You want a live demo? Yeah! All right. Can't promise much, but let's try it. Let's try it and see what happens. All right. So let's see, where are we? Or, uh, okay, which one? Hmm, what do we do? Forge ahead. Forge ahead? Forge ahead. It's forge ahead. Gather your weapons and armor. Well, I think we know what to do. So, uh, let's get on a horse. <laughs> All right, we return to the keynote at this point. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right. The, the demo gods have smiled upon us. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, so that's just a handful of, of some, of the, some of the AIs that we're building.